Hey guys, what's up? This is David here. So I wanted to just go ahead and quickly give you guys this little message before we start the show. This episode was actually recorded January 22nd, 2016, last week, and I just got to editing the podcast. It's not that I forgot about it, it's just that I've been extremely busy with school and a bunch of other stuff recently. It was the end of the marking period at school, and I needed to get, you know, a lot of things done. Anyway guys, that's about all I wanted to say, so thanks for listening, hope you all understand, and enjoy the show. Coming to you live. In a world where gadgets don't break ever, this is Jailbreak Weekly, episode number 27. My name is Justin Wack, and for once in my life, I am not the last one to be introduced on the podcast. Today I have my co-hosts, David Burns. Oh, uh, there we go! Finally! He puts me before uh, Andy! Okay. Well, I, I figured <laughs> I figured that since my other co-host, Andy Hoff, was last on the Google Hangout today, I should put him last. In okay, the, uh, you know what? Uh, it was two minutes late. Ah, yeah, at least it wasn't an hour true. late. Yeah, but the key word there is late. <laughs> You know, okay. you see what I'm saying. <laughs> well, at least I showed up. Yeah, that's true. But you know, just saying, just saying. <laughs> uh, so, so how are you doing, guys? What's what's new? It's been a couple I'm weeks since good. I've been on. Glad to be back. Yeah, yeah, we're we're happy to have you back. Um, yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, it's 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 snowing out and it's freezing, but you know, I'm just enjoying yeah. the the winter festive spirit. What, what, oh, what, what about you guys? Yeah. yeah, I mean, wow, there's. I haven't seen this much snow in a long time. Like, there's at least 18 to 20 inches of snow on the ground. and That's crazy. There hasn't been this much snow in my town for a long, long, long time. Dude, so, I've never, in all, my, in all my life, David, I have never seen that much snow. Well, <laughs> Somebody tells I, me you're not yeah. telling the truth because you're from I have Canada. never seen that much snow. I am telling the truth. I've never seen that much snow on the ground before. Well, he is telling the truth because he got us in another pun because he can't oh. see. Oh, oh, my God. oh yeah. God. I caught you. I caught you, Justin. I yeah, see you. Yeah, I'm glad someone figured that out. I'm glad, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad was, someone I figured that out. I, just, I was completely clueless. Yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's been, oh, my gosh. It has been a tough Week. Yeah, you got a lot of a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> finals, right? Well, a lot uh, of breaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not of the jail variety. Um, yeah. So, oh, yeah. first of all, my computer, and this wasn't my fault. I just want to start off by saying this was not my fault. Um, my computer was knocked out of a car trunk and fell. And so it's like completely like chipped up and scratched and like uh, it's got a big dent in it. Yeah, but I mean, so the one of the hinges doesn't really close properly. Um, and so like I can still close the lid on the computer, but like half of it is a couple centimeters above. It's really hard to explain, but like when I close the lid, half of it is a couple centimeters above where it should be. So, um, and then yeah, so unfortunately when yeah, that awful. happened. My and then my studio monitors um, also had taken a fall out of the trunk, and Oof. those unfortunately were not recovered. So they're in a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Um, so you were just having. A, so was this all the same? Like, luck. yeah, was this all yeah, the same well, that incident was, with the trunk? So that was yeah, yeah. So that was okay. yeah because they were in a backpack, and the backpack got knocked out of the trunk. Oh, um, okay. And yeah, so I. Sense. Like, the car wasn't moving, thank God, and the trunk wasn't open when the car was moving, but the backpack got knocked out of the trunk. Um, so that was last Friday, I think. And then yesterday, this one, I admit, was my fault. And look, our viewers are going to really think that I'm extremely accident-prone. I'm not. <laughs> I just have been lately. Lately, it seems like I've had a never-ending string of of things. Um Yesterday, I managed to drop my iPhone, and he he pulled the he pulled the tech rack slash everything Apple Pro. 
Um, <laughs> no, I did. I did a drop test. So it, no, um, it was not. I forgot it, to hit record. I I <laughs> you dropped it in lava. I, no, I didn't drop it in lava. I did an unintentional drop test with yeah. my iPhone, and uh, unfortunately, it didn't come out of it so well. It's got a bunch of cracks all over the screen. Um, uh, and they're like yeah. kind of just like little hairline cracks, but the problem is is that they get worse as I use the phone. They get bigger. So right. unfortunately, what this means is that I'm going to have to get my phone fixed at Apple. Now, what this also means is rest in peace to jailbreak on my phone, which really sucks. Yeah, yeah so. it's unfortunate because City Impactor, which would allow you to restore it without updating. Yeah. Unfortunately, that hasn't been updated, and the beta doesn't work very well. Yeah, so. well, and you know what's um, too bad. Just, just in case you know, for whatever reason, you're not familiar with it. Jailbreaking does void your warranty, so yeah. I have to restore my phone so that they'll fix it. Because if I right. walk in there with a jailbroken phone, if they perform diagnostics on the phone, they're going to see it's they're jailbroken. Gonna so they're not going right. to fix yeah. it. Yeah. So, um. I'm well, hoping... wasn't there? I, I know that this was a rumor. I don't know if this was ever confirmed, and I guess we won't. We you know obviously won't know until um, you know there's a public 9.2 jailbreak. But I do remember that there was you know a rumor going around that apparently Apple will be able to you know figure out whether you jailbroke or not. You know as of 9.2. Yeah. Yeah, I I do remember that. It's I'm not entirely sure if that's legitimate or if they're gonna if they would check for that. Yeah. I'm not sure that they may be able to figure it out, but they may have to look hard. And plus, we don't really have a 9.2 jailbreak, obviously. Yeah. So right. so and I that's the thing. That's, so I'm not gonna be. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I'm that's really a sad future, about. Future so yeah. I'm probably just gonna restore to uh, 9.2.1 and leave it at that, I guess. And then <laughs> guys, guys, do you hear that Cyber <laughs> Elevator released a new jailbreak? Whoa, really? <laughs> Yeah. Do you hear that elevator coming up and down? <laughs> the elevator picking people up? The only elevator that's going down right now is the elevator containing my stomach because I have to restore my phone to 9.2.1. Oh, jeez. That's heavy. Yeah. That's, oh. that, that's heavy stuff. <sighs> <sighs> they got to have some emotional talks here on Jailbreak Weekly sometimes. Yes, yes. yes Heartfelt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the thing is, this kind of segues into our next topic, actually, conveniently. Um, you should be, if you're hoping for another jailbreak, if you're hoping to get a jailbreak on an unjailbreakable firmware, you should be on 9.2, because 9.2.1 was released earlier this week to the public on Monday, and it actually patches a number of vulnerabilities. It fixes a number of exploits, etc. You can look at the change log. We'll put that in the show notes. Um, so basically, we don't have any, you know, confirmed knowledge that it patches any known jailbreak exploits, but, you know, if if you want a jailbreak and you're currently not jailbroken, you should be on 9.2, um, just because there's tons of, you know, security holes that have been plugged up. So, Justin, that's what I would recommend doing if I were you. Oh, geez. Um, is is 9.2, the window is still open then, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I just okay. Well, you know what? I should today. go. I'm. I'm gonna go download the IPSW right now for for nine point two. Live, huh? This is like live. live. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna download and <laughs> I'm going to press the update button live on Jailbreak Weekly. This is so sad. There you go. And, and we're gonna. Yeah. So so <laughs> that's gonna be an emotional up. episode. Okay? That's coming up. You gotta put um, on see you again. Tear you, got, yeah. you gotta pull me. <laughs> pull me and put on see you again. <laughs> no. Actually, you know what? But the problem is there's, like, royalties and stuff. Yeah, and like, I don't want to get sued for copyright. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sam Smith is – no, not Sam Smith. What, what's his name? Charlie. Uh, Charlie Poof. Charlie, Charlie Poof. Poof. Yeah. Is yeah. it Poof or Puff? Poof. I don't know. Poof. And Wiz Khalifa, right? Yeah. Puff the Magic yeah. Dragon, okay? <laughs> Puff the Magic Dragon has made See You Again. That's, that's – that uh, is my uh, – <laughs> 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 Okay, guys, we are backing uh, up the phone right now. This okay. is getting real. So real. So, since, we, since we're not able to put in the actual song because of copyright, we'll just actually go ahead and cover. do that. Yeah, we can do a cover. <laughs> guys, anyways, this is getting Justin, real. So, enjoy so, the last few minutes of your journey. Yeah, I, okay, I can't imagine what it must be going through right now. No, yeah, I actually was super sad when I jailbroke my iPhone. It was like... It was like losing a friend, you know. It's yeah, like, it's really I don't know. Emotional. Like, and I mean, look, I haven't been installing as many new tweaks as in previous years, just for stability reasons and stuff. 
Um, but there's still my my you know centralized tweaks that I use like all the time. Like um, you know, Activator is one. I use that 3D Touch to Clear Notification Center. Um, I file like you know stuff like that. Like just just yeah. you yeah. know you always have your right. staple your staple tweaks that you use, and it's kind of gonna suck not having them on my phone but i mean agree hopefully so i will personally offer right now to pay anybody that does not give me a fake jailbreak fifty (laughs) dollars i don't know i don't know you're you're definitely gonna find people that will offer you that will offer to um in exchange for your money offer you a fake jailbreak i can definitely verify that because We've been pretty busy lately on busting people, so... Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, Jailbreak Buster, uh, at Jailbreak Buster Twitter account, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we've been doing pretty well. Um, there has been a lot of... A ISO lot of, uh, 11.6.3 JB yeah. for iPhone 16. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, well, yeah. you know, the funny, the funny part <laughs> is, and I said this when 9.2.1 released, when I saw 9.2.1 yeah. yeah. release, because I was in school, and then all of a sudden I see, oh, iOS 9.2.1 released, Lots and I was scams. like, all right, I got to yeah, talk yeah. about this. So I went to, I hopped on the Jailbreak Busters Twitter, and I was like, all right, guys, time to actually get to work and do our job, because there's going to be a lot more, you know, fake jailbreaks for 9.2.1. And sure enough, there's been like three or four of them, you know, over the past week or so that have popped up that we needed to squash. So, I mean, (laughs) I don't know. I I feel like 9.2.1 is going to be the firmware where a lot of fake jailbreaks are going to pop up. But maybe we'll see a real jailbreak pop up. Uh, for 9.2.1. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. You know what, guys? 9.2.1, I'm not going to be on it because IPSW is downloaded. I've backed up my phone. The moment of truth has arrived. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the okay. thing is, you also have to keep in mind, like, 9.2.1 might not. Like, I- I'm sure that we'll probably get a jailbreak for the latest Yeah, firmware. You and just do it in my moment. Yeah. I've, oh, you know what? I kind of had something to say, yeah. so, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, here's, me too. Me here's the other thing, Andy, and I, I completely understand what you're saying. This is kind of to back up what you're saying, is that, you know, when do you remember, really, a jailbreak that came out that was not for the latest firmware, besides probably POSIX Phone, because POSIX yeah. Phone was pretty much an exception yeah. to that. Yeah, but, the motivation to create a jailbreak yeah. for a non, you know, yeah. for, for not the latest firmware is low, but you know what, it doesn't hurt to be safe. No, like, and look, says, yeah. I mean, if the window's open, then why not, right? Like, that's that's a good point, Andy. Um, and I kind of actually thought that the window was closed at first. I was just like, oh, the window's closed. 9.2.1's been out for a while, but um, oh, right. by the way, speaking of new updates, uh, iOS 9.3 beta is out, and watchOS 2, there's a new version of watchOS 2 out as well. Um, but something I thought was interesting is in the new version of watchOS 2, uh, wasn't Pangu re- uh, listed in the release notes? Yeah, right, in the so, security notes. Yeah. yeah. So I think I was actually the first one to point this out. I, don't, I didn't see... Now, I'm not 100% sure, because I check our jailbreak uh, fairly often, but... I didn't really see that. I didn't see anybody talking yeah, about this. Yeah, and yeah. when I, you know, just because I saw, okay, you know, 9.2.1, whatever, and Andy was going through all the security changes and whatever and showing us in the group chat, I was like, oh, you know what? I, you know, I was looking myself when I was in computer graphics class because I happened to have nothing to do. So I was like, <laughs> all right, let's see what's going on here. So I, I saw watchOS 2. Point, you know, 2.2, is it 2.1, 2.2, whatever, and I was like, oh, okay, well, let's see you know, what security things were fixed in here. And then I scroll down. As I'm scrolling down, I see Pangu was definitely credited for something. So it seems like maybe they had something in the works, and whether it was a full jailbreak or a partial jailbreak, they just gave up on it and decided to submit it to Apple. So... We don't really know the full story about that, but it's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. think a lot of the time exploits from iOS sometimes cross over to um, watchOS because I think the operating systems, I've heard that they're very similar. 
So um, it, it could be that, or it could be some sort of other vulnerability that they discovered. But I don't know. It's just it's kind of cool to see that. You know, it's a mystery. Yeah, but it's yeah. Just, it's interesting. Yeah, definitely yeah, for sure. But I mean, if Pangu did sell exploits to Apple, that is a very, very, very bad sign for the community. Hopefully, they didn't. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. But so. you know, we we can hope. Um, right. Well, another thing to look at too is maybe the exploits that they sold really weren't that vital to a jailbreak. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. I mean, it's yeah. it's possible for sure. Okay, guys. Well, I have the IPSW. I'm gonna do this. Oh man, jailbreak here it is comes. Going. I'm, f- I'm right. fighting back some tears. Here. I'm fighting, fighting back tears. <laughs> Insert sad music here. I'll make sure Please. we do that. Royalty free sad music. <laughs> yeah. yeah p- please don't sue us. We have no money. Please don't. I spent all my money on City of Tweaks. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Goodbye, jailbreak. <laughs> Alright, uh, tunes This, is, this is so sad. This is depressing. It's gone. <laughs> Hello from the other side. That's totally not the same song. Okay. Oh, but so, it is. Yeah, so, hey, now he's on the other side. He's on the stop. Yes, he's on the, yeah. I'm, 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 I've been taken to jail again, you know? Like, this is, <laughs> he's this jailed is, once again. This is sad. Jail for the foreseeable future. This is future. really sad. Yeah. So, Andy. Well, I love how we say this now, but, like, watch a jailbreak come out tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Sure please. Please. Like I <laughs> said, my offer still luck. stands. Like, if, you, if you or anyone else is able to give me a real working jailbreak, I will pay you $50. And I mean... <laughs> $50? No, jailbreaks just, go for, like, yeah. millions of dollars. $50, $50, and I will not disclose it to the rest of the public. I will just give you $50, and you can have your $50. No, it's funny, because we're all, we're all doom and gloom about, you know, oh, no jailbreak, no jailbreak, but... It seems like whenever we get in this mood that I know. somewhere yeah. soon a jailbreak drops, yeah. I just feel like tomorrow a jailbreak's randomly going to drop. Oh, I hope then... so. Yeah. It's gonna oh, be... No, well, it's, no, it's not so going to be – David, it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow at like 5 in the morning. Oh, yeah. It hey, you yet. know what? No, my, my phone's set to blast. <laughs> when you came to <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah, ready. Yeah. By It'll be way. a Wednesday. It'll be a Wednesday at three o'clock in the morning, like Wednesday last time. Wednesday three o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, that was great. That was. Great. And I'll have to hey, wake I'll up. Be there. Yeah. I'll be there. I was still awake. I remember FaceTiming Andy. Yeah. Actually. yeah. Oh, my I was yeah. jealous. That was crazy. No. Yeah. So, what happened with that was I woke up to seeing like all of these Florida Georgia yeah, line messages. This is Pegu Nine. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, I know what this is because anytime Andy spams <laughs> the group chat with, you know, this is how we roll. I'm like. I'm sending 200 messages this time. I'm actually oh gonna keep god. track. You're too. gonna. Oh my god, dude! Please. You literally will please. crash. Like no. you will actually. You're gonna wake crash. up and your phone's just gonna be unresponsive. Yeah. Like no, I it's gonna be on fire. No. It's not gonna be unresponsive. No. Well, um, one thing that has definitely not lagged this week is jailbreak tweak production. So Andy, absolutely. What do we got for tweaks this week? What am I not gonna be able to download this week? <laughs> All right, yeah. So we have a fair, we have a pretty big list of things Justin won't be able to enjoy. So first up, <laughs> we have Gritty. Uh, this one's available for one dollar and ninety nine cents. And basically, this tweak is a highly customizable grid switcher tweak for iOS. So um, there's numerous tweaks out there that, that basically allow you to, you know, change your app switcher into a grid. But this one is different because. Um, again, it's just highly customizable. So when you open it up, by default, it's a 3x3 three three grid, but you can yeah, scroll yeah, up and down, yeah. see all your apps. You can also pinch in and out to customize how many apps show on the screen. And it's just what something I really like about it is you could get it to a point when there's you could see so many apps. You know, the cards get smaller, obviously, the farther you zoom out, but you could get to a point when you could see pretty much like 50 apps probably open on your screen at one time. So it's just... It's a really good way to see everything on your device, see everything that's open on your device. There's also various other options to configure the settings, like, you know, size of the card, stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's it's just a it's a really great, it's a highly customizable tweak. It has great animations, so it's just it's the if you want a grid switcher on your iPhone, this is the way to do it. Um, so does this sound like something you guys would be interested in? Nah. Um, nah. I mean, I, yeah, <laughs> Thank you for your personally, long response, David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, personally, like I saw this in, in the tweak list on, you know, on Cydia and I was just like, okay, you know what? Like 
I I'm good. Like I just I'm not really into the whole. But then again, I'm not really into yeah. that kind of thing. So who knows? I mean, it's not for me personally. Um, right. right. But that's just that's just my my opinion. Yeah. I mean, it's See, good at what yeah. it does. Yeah. The other thing, the other thing for me is it's too much like <laughs> cough cough Olympus for me to really yeah. care about <laughs> about this jailbreak tweak. Yeah. I mean. It, I love it, it. It has a lot of games. Okay, okay, but yeah, you know. this is this is not a, like, and I haven't used it, so I'm I'm. This is a genuine question. What can this tweak do that Olympus can't? Uh, like, just that's, the that's, amount of apps. That's the you important could breakdown. Sh- yeah, the amount of like app previews that you could show on your screen is incredible, and also yeah. the animations are different. Like they're very smooth for both of them, but the animations yeah. are different. There's just more. You could customize it to your liking more. Yeah, I would say. it yeah. just has that customizability. And so, how much? Um, how much is Olympus? I always forget. Olympus, I believe, I think, is three ninety nine. Isn't Olympus a free update for? It's a free update for okay, iOS nine. Okay, but if if you don't own Olympus yeah. on iOS yeah. nine, how much is it? Three ninety nine. And okay. this tweak is one ninety nine. So yeah, so okay, so price difference. That's probably the biggest point. So if you want to, you know, spend a little less money and save some money, then obviously you would go with this tweak. Yeah, and I mean, look. Personally, I don't have either of them. Um, I'm a huge Cyrenix fan. I'm sure this tweak's a really good right. tweak as well, but um, also I'm sure they look quite different aesthetically as well because Cyrenix's designs are quite uh, quite unique as well. Right. But I don't know because I haven't seen it, obviously. But. I mean, the the way it's laid out is kind of a lot. You know, it's, it's, it's very similar to the way Olympus is laid out, so... I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's kind of just because it's a Shernix tweak. Um, he and I, I, I was talking about this earlier with uh, with Andy. I, I gotta give Shernix credit. Whenever he, you know, develops or not develops, but whenever he's designing a tweak, he's you know he's pretty good. He's pretty keen on picking a lot of really good developers to you know yeah. coincide with him in making a tweak. I mean, Aki is a huge example. You know, Aki just worked fantastic and. We haven't really heard that much information about Aki 2. We know it's being actively, you know, worked on, but as of right now, not really sure 100% what's going on with that. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be really awesome to see, you know, what happens with Aki 2. But again, I mean, it's just like, it's, he picks some really, really good developers. Uh, So yeah. Yeah, and I mean, that's completely, um, that's completely fair. So yeah, Gritty is definitely a cheaper option at one ninety nine. Yeah. But I don't know. I I still I I like Olympus personally. That's the one I prefer. I just think the animations are done a little better. But again, um, Gritty is another choice, and you could just see all like you could see a ton of apps at the same time. So yeah, um, this is not something that I would use because again, I prefer like Olympus and Oxo and things like that. But again, it's out there. Anyways, uh, next up we have um, messages loaded. Uh, this one is available for free. And basically, this tweak. Okay, so you know when when you're scrolling through messages in the messages app, how if you scroll up, you eventually you eventually reach a point when it needs to load more messages. A little spinny wheel pops up, and it loads you know older messages. Basically, this tweak will automatically load all of your messages as soon as you click into a thread from the beginning of that thread, so you don't have to wait when you're scrolling up. Um, and there's as far as I could tell, it's not lagging in my messages app at all. Um, and it it just works. It's just it's very convenient because I often you know have to yeah scroll back and reference stuff. Yeah. So this is now the only the only question I have with this is um, how this would work for data because uh, I'm sure it would use right. more data for sure. There's a good chance. Well, I mean, just loading you know messages. I would I was yeah. I would assume that that uses an extremely small amount of data, right? I mean. Well, another thing you have to you have to remember too is I would assume if these are already messages that you've seen that they're probably just cached inside of the phone. Right? Exactly. Yeah, oh, that that's true. Yeah, th- that's a very good point, David. Yeah. So, yeah, it's I think they're all there. Exactly. They're just kind of you know they're maybe they're zipped yeah. or something. Yeah. That's something yeah. Like that's that. a good point. Like they could just be uh, cached inside the the phone. I forgot about that. Yeah, so I'm actually going to keep this installed. I, I really like it. It's a small tweak, but it's just it saves me some time. Uh, yeah, what do you, guys you know, think? it's it's a shame because that's the one tweak. Like like I said, I did. It's kind of ironic. I brought up the concern with data. Um, I don't really have that. I get five gigs a month, 
But right, yeah. uh, once I get a jailbreak, I'll probably look at installing this tweak for sure. Cool. Well, what, about, what about you, David? Blah. I have yeah. not installed this tweak yet, but definitely. Uh, yeah, yes, definitely I'm going to install it. Because, I mean, okay. yeah. it's, it's one of these tweaks where it's like, why not install it? It's free, and it's like, I mean, why not? It's just like, it's one of these things that it, it like enhances your experience. So, yeah, I mean, definitely, I probably would. Right now, I don't have it installed on my device, but probably after the show, I'll probably install it just because it's, you know, why not? It's one of these tweaks where yeah. it definitely enhances your experience. It's free. So in that case, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't see what the, you know, issue with installing this would be, um, you know, and, and it makes it makes things easy because if, you know, I want to copy and paste, you know, something that someone said uh, to someone else and, you know, it's much, much earlier in my messages thread and I have right. to go all the way Yeah, back. it's annoying, isn't it? Like yeah. to, to have to go back. I don't back know why and... Apple doesn't do this because it doesn't yeah. seem like it lags up the messages app. I don't know. It's just a mystery. And they're all, right. I mean, it's not like, I mean, we had, where we talking about that other data concern, but it's probably just all of those messages cached inside of the phone anyway. Yeah. So it's not like it's taking up any more data or... It's well, not like it's, I it would be... disagree with that. I have a feeling maybe some of them might be cached in your phone, but I disagree I... because there's a reason that it says loading messages. You know what I mean? Like that that it has that little wheel. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's you know true. what? Hang on. Let me let me look. Um, See, well, what I we should do a test. I... You should put your yeah. phone in airplane mode because I have the tweak that's installed, what, yeah, so it wouldn't really that's work. That's what I was gonna me, say. But... I was you know gonna what? say yeah. without. Without any data um, on, I wonder if it would work without any I, internet I will connection. do it right now if I can cool. find my phone. Is your phone still jailbroken or is it? It's probably uh, updating, right? Oh, yeah. It actually it is uh, uploading. Need update. Yeah. Updating still. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I'll David, just, do you? Um, okay. I mean, I we have a lot in our group chat for chat. the podcast. We could probably use it. Oh, yeah. That goes way far back. We'll be fine if we use that. For sure. Yeah, okay. That, so what, would... what should I do? You want me to turn off? Yeah, turn the phone in airplane, airplane mode, probably. So okay. I just oh, disable it. Gosh, my phone fell down the. Oh, no. Yeah, you drop so your phone it's, again, Justin. It's, <laughs> it's loading up fine. Yeah. Yeah. So See, so, working. yeah, so then yeah. you're probably right. It's probably just cached. But yeah. either way, this fixes an annoyance. So, um, yeah. Good stuff. So, are we ready to move on to the next week? What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I think, think so. so. I think, right, cool. look, in conclusion, I think that this is a great tweak. It's free. Um, and, yeah, I'll definitely be installing this. All right, cool. So next up, we actually have an upcoming tweak to uh, discuss. And by the time this podcast is uh, released, this tweak might already be out. But it's called Snakebite. And um, it's upcoming. It's, it's going to be available for $0.99. Cents. And basically what this tweak is, is it's a 3D touch app switcher uh, replacement. So normally on the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, you could get to the app switcher by 3D touching on the left side of the screen. Um, you could also swipe between your two recently opened applications. Um, and but basically, Apple's stock implementation isn't really the best for this. So this tweak kind of improves upon that and makes a much better, you know, app switcher. So basically, when you 3D touch on the left side of your screen now, you, as opposed to having the normal app switcher, it comes up with a list of either your favorite applications or your recently used apps. By default, it's yeah. recently used. Right. And you could just swipe your finger up and down, and it just shows the icon of the app, and just release your finger on the app that you want to open, and it opens it up. It's just so much better. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's so much better than Apple's um, default implementation. Actually, uh, I was able to get a uh, beta copy of this, thanks to the developer, Philip Tenen. And uh, I have a preview up, so if you guys want to see it in action, uh, we'll drop the video down below. Oh, but... this is a uh, this is a Philip Tenon thing. Yeah, Philip Tenon makes some really good stuff. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, it's it's a really great tweak. I I can't wait for this to be released. I think it'll be very successful. Like it's just it's such a it just makes so much more sense than Apple's implementation. I'm just shocked that Apple didn't do something like this. Right. Um. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about this? Um. I don't know. I mean, it definitely looks like it can be definitely a promising tweak it looks like it's going to be a really good tweak um but yeah i mean there's uh, here's another thing to look at as well is that this is not uh you know this is not the first time a developer has looked into changing the way that you know this gesture works because we've seen you know a few times different yeah, developers chrysalis you know, is another yeah. chrysalis yeah exactly yeah. 
Um, so, I mean, that that's what I'm saying. There's been other tweaks that have, you know, tried to modify this gesture and tried to, you know, make it so it's better and make it so it's a better experience and all that. So, I, I mean, I haven't used it myself, again, because obviously it's not out yet. Um, but I don't know how, and that's that's my question for you, Andy, actually. How does it fare against Chrysalis? Do you like it better than Chrysalis? I don't know. Like as of, they're very they're very similar, but they're also very different. So Chrysalis displays the apps across the screen, kind of um, horizontally, and this displays it vertically. Okay. Um, it, but other than that, they're they're very similar concept, and they feel very similar. Um, so, so I don't I know. That, yeah. I was just gonna say, I think the only difference is you can actually access the app switcher by using this, right? With yeah. The there's a little switcher. toggle at the bottom. You drag your finger on it. It says multitasking. It's a little colorful icon, and then that'll take you to your app, actual app switcher. But I don't know. As of right now, just in terms of the stability and just the overall performance and the in the convenience, I, I don't know. I'm I'm leaning towards this tweak. Um, it just seems like a lot more work was put into it, and it's just the animations are smooth. I haven't had any issues with it, so yeah, I would say this for right now. But again, Crystalis is very similar. It's it's just it's the same concept, which is kind of executed in a different way. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, I was just gonna say, how much will this be when it comes out? Did did he give you any indication? Or yeah, yeah, it's gonna be ninety nine cents. Okay. okay. I've never really been into the whole three D touch slash uh, app switcher thing. Um, personally like i'd rather just press the home button twice and get into my app switcher um so and i mean maybe yeah. this that's just because it's been like ingrained in my my reflexes of of ios because i've been using ios for you know so many years i guess with uh the app switcher like that so um yeah. but i can see why some people would think that apple's stock implementation was not the best on this and hey i mean look between snakebite and chrysalis you know you got you got your choices and Again, I always say this, you know, choice is the essence of, of jailbreaking. So it's Definitely. it's good in the end, I think, for sure. Right. Yeah, yeah and I just I just want to stress, like, Apple's implementation. Like, 3D Touch is, it's a perfect, a, a perfect use case for 3D Touch is multitasking. And I just think Apple kind of fell short on the implementation. So I just, I think this is taking a great technology that Apple implements it and just kind of, Taking a function that they tried to kind of you know make use of, but right. didn't oh, do it. You know, that poorly. reminds me, the awkwardness of cracking your screen is when I I just know like for me, <laughs> when I would try to type stuff, if I touched the screen, there would be some points where it would think I was three D touching on the screen. Oh, and yeah, like, yeah. like peeking and popping and stuff. So then it would bring up these like weird accented letters and like do all this weird stuff and i'm like whoa <laughs> like what is going on here so um but yeah. yeah no i mean 3d touch look 3d touch has a lot of it's not like touch id or you know you just well it is like touch id in a way like it, it has a lot of maturing to do and i think over the next few years you know we'll we'll see we'll see that maturing take place in yeah. in a apple's uh walled garden but as of now i mean look i'm really impressed with what the jailbreak developers of the community have managed to do with 3d touch i mean right, you have so many yeah. things you can do with it now like the the 3d touch to clear notifications like that's something another thing like that's something that you think apple would just put in there natively right yeah like they have that on the watch you know what i mean right. like you'd think that they would right, put that yeah. in there and right. so this is just one of those other things that you know apple does this doesn't do it well and this just kind of snake bite corrects it i guess so definitely and once again that should be out soon uh for 99 cents yeah, so uh, next up we have something called low power mode, um, all Man. one word. And basically what this tweak does is it's going to keep low power mode on all the time, no matter what, constantly. I get um, this tweak. <laughs> um, I mean, I understand it because a lot of people I mean, yeah, I get want it, like, to... Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of people keep their device on low power mode all the time. They don't want to have it turned off automatically. So, hey, you know what? It's It does what it says, so yeah. nothing to complain about. Yeah, yeah. I, look, I can definitely see a use case for this would i use it myself probably not just because i do some really cpu intensive things on the iphone yeah, same here yeah um well it's not even just that either i think doesn't low power mode disable a few functions as well so like hey siri a lot of the time you can't yeah like with low power some mode. certain animations too can't you the phone okay so disables. the visual things i think you can customize low power mode a little bit though right can't you oh I yeah i believe that. so maybe you can i don't know 
I think. Can, can, I we, just really can, can we just check? I can never just use low power that? mode. I really am not that equipped to talk about this. All right, so I'm going to go into settings and let's see what we can do. Siri, yeah. turn on Battery. low power mode. Low power mode temporarily reduces power consumption until you can fully charge your iPhone. When this is on, mail fetch, hey Siri, background app refresh, automatic downloads, and some visual effects are reduced or turned off. Okay, okay to tell you the truth, right. I have all of those things turned off anyway, so... Um, <laughs> I mean, it does, it like spits, it takes your CPU power back to like something of a 5S, I believe. Which yeah, is it, it does take your CPU power back quite a lot, and... That's something I will say is with with that yeah like the CPU throttling thing is what really kills it for me like I'll use it if I absolutely need to I'm nowhere near a charger and my phone is gonna die but otherwise uh uh that thing is not getting turned on same here but again if you're I guess if you're a very proficient you know or if you're a frequent user of low power mode this is good it'll just keep it on all the time no matter what until you um, uninstall the tweak so. Once again, it's just called low power mode. Um, it doesn't sound like it's anything that you know any of us would use, but again, choice is out there. So I guess moving right on down the list here, we have spin settings, and this is Ooh. actually something David is in the process of go. reviewing. So um, <laughs> do you want to tell us all about this tweak? Yeah. So basically, okay. So this tweak has been around for actually a little while, and Definitely, this yeah. is actually a really really cool concept because. And one of the reasons why I decided to review this now is because I didn't really have that much to review, and I've been getting so many comments recently on my video, uh, on my videos, I guess I should say, on just various videos saying, you know, because I, I have it in the background constantly when I'm making, you know, videos with different tweaks and stuff, so people are like, how are you doing that? How are you getting your settings icon to spin? How is that happening? Like, is this some sort sort of like magic? Yeah. Like, how is this happening? So, yeah. So <laughs> this basically, what this tweak allows you to do is it basically pulls the animation where actually, if Justin was not jailbroken and he went ahead and uh, updated via OTA in the settings, he actually would have seen. Well, he wouldn't have seen the animation. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, the animation would have been there is my point. And it basically pulls that animation from the OTA, uh, you know, little animation settings. It pulls that and it uses that animation actually to spin the settings icon around. Yeah, it's, now, it's like the gears yeah. in the settings icon basically spin. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Can, so you can enable and disable yeah. this. You can change the speed of it so you can make it. Uh, by default, it goes really slow and that's the, the same speed as how it works uh, when it's doing the OTA update, you'll see it spinning in the background there. Um, but also you can change it to go like super, super fast like it does normally in my videos. And I like that because it looks pretty cool. I mean, yeah. why not? So, yeah, exactly, right? Um, yeah, and you can also make it super, super slow. Uh, That's probably what I would do because like I don't want something like you know inducing a seizure or something i know yeah, i, I want will. something really fast yeah. just eye candy yeah. no you know what you know what'd be nice is if it had some kind of thing where you could set it on the fly and make it go like really fast and then when someone ever wanted to use your phone you can make it spin really <laughs> fast just to annoy them yeah it'd be like it like suck your whole like display in <laughs> <laughs> black hole yeah it would make the other per uh, it would make the person using your phone want to do an unintentional drop test <laughs> no so i mean this is a, it's a really good tweak it's free as well um yeah. so that's also another thing to highlight is you know why not do this because it looks really really cool and then you know another i mean this is this is kind of i'm not going to compare it to barrel but it's one of these really really cool tweaks yeah it's visual, just a visual wise, tweak, yeah. where yeah where if somebody doesn't know what jailbreaking is, but they have an iPhone of their own, and they're like, well, okay, I'm new to jailbreak. What can you do on a jailbroken iPhone that you can't do already? So you can show them, okay, well, I can make my settings icon spin, like, a lot, like, super, super fast. Um, and that's really, I mean, I've gotten, a lot of people have been like, like, wow, like, that's really cool. Like, a lot of people have liked that. Um, you know, and even in my videos, like I said, in the comments section, a lot of people have said, how are you doing that? So that's the reason why I decided to cover this tweak. Again, it's free. Why not install it? That's my opinion. What, what do you guys think? Um, it's, yeah. I don't know. Is it compatible yeah. with Iris? Because I, I use uh, the Iris yes. theme. Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, I use cool. it all the okay. time. 
Nice. Yeah. So I don't know. I might I might install this. It's just it's one of those things like I I with animations I usually speed them up or disable them. <laughs> so I usually don't like okay, so I have barrel installed. I always, you know, have barrel. But other than that, like as far as things that are always happening no matter what that that's not at my control, I usually don't have things like this, you know, usually, right. either for battery or performance, but you know what? It's it's something that I might install and kind of keep on my phone for those instances you were talking about when you're showing people what jailbreaking is, but yeah, not really something I would use on my own. But hey, it's really cool and it's it's just kind of like a flashy thing, which, right. which is always nice. One more thing. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just gonna say um, before I forgot. Basically, uh, you're able to actually go ahead and change the uh, icon that's actually spinning. So you can have, obviously, the default animation that the tweet comes with, where it's the settings gear and everything spinning around. Um, but you can actually go inside of iFile. Like you, you can navigate to a certain directory inside of iFile. And what you can actually do is change the icon. So if you want it to be a picture of John Cena spinning around <laughs> on the settings icon instead of the gear, then you can you know do that. Okay, all right, uh, I'm I'm doing that. I'm doing yeah. it right now. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, that was spin settings, and it's free. So definitely check it out. All right, so next up we have Calculator Copy. And this is actually pretty cool because it kind of ties into iOS 9.3. Uh, so as we covered last week in our podcast, 9.3 brings a lot of um, new um, 3D Touch shortcuts for various stock applications. And one of them is the Calculator application. Uh, we actually didn't talk about this last week, but basically yeah. you could 3D Touch on the Calculator app to copy the last result in the calculator. Ooh, um, nice. Yeah, so basically this tweak just brings that functionality to um, jailbroken devices. So uh, as far as I could tell, it's a just a direct port over. So, I mean, it's kind of a strange choice to port over, I guess, because it's, you know, the calculator app. But you know what? It's um, it's cool, and it works. So You know what? Free. 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 Exactly. Enough said. Yeah. yeah. That's how you justify that. Free. Def yeah, definitely. For sure. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. look, I can definitely see a use case for this. I don't use the calculator app on the phone just because, like, when I'm in math and stuff, I'm always using the, um, like, graphing calculators and all that crap. But, like, you know, like, let's say, for example, just as an example use case, let's say you forgot your calculator at home. You're in a math class, and you need to do some basic calculations on your phone and stuff. Um, you know, you yeah, could copy no. that result over, like, that kind of yeah. thing. So I could see how this would have yeah. a use case, but personally, I don't think I'd use this. But, again, enough said, free. So yeah, I mean, my as it is right now, I you know my math teacher would uh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my math teachers. Yeah, you know, I hear math, you. The math teachers that I've had, you know, in previous years and even this year, do not for whatever reason like despise phones and do uh, not yeah. like when people just randomly decide to take out their phones and um, use calc. Because a lot of a lot of the times, what they have is they have you know, calculators for students that, like, forgot their calculators. So they yeah, have calculators yeah. in class in case of that. So, yeah. like, they just, like, despise it when, like, a student just, like, decides to bring out their phone to use as a calculator. So. Yeah, and I mean, that's fair. I've I've had some teachers that are really lax about that, and I've had some teachers that are really not lax about it. So it depends yeah. on the teacher that you guess, yeah. that you get. But, like, I was just giving that as an example for a use case of right, uh, yeah. this tweak. But yeah, so um, yeah, it's 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 not really something that I would find a use case in daily, but um, hey, it's there. And once again, it's called uh, Calculator Copy. It's free. So next up, we have an at the the activator. What the hell was I saying? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so next up, we have an activator update to talk about. This is version one point nine point eight, and this so contains. This was yeah, this was yeah, it's, beta, it's a public. Right? Yeah, it was a lot of these features were in beta before, but this is the public version that was just released earlier today. And it's just tons of bug fixes, tons of new features as well. So let's just talk about some of the major features. So one of the most major ones is the watch tap action. So basically, you can now assign some, you could assign activator to tap you um, on your Apple Watch um, if a certain thing happens. So let's say, for example, you, um, I don't know, let's say when you receive, or no, that's a bad example. This is just hard to think. What about, about what about when it's like eight o'clock and you need to be in in class or like perfect at, exactly at That's seven? Perfect. Let's say like five minutes before your class starts, or before yeah, your shift starts. 
get your watch to tap you so you know you got five minutes left until you need exactly. to see where you're at. That's actually a really good – I might actually good, yeah. do that because that actually would really help me out. I mean, like, the, we have bells in school for, like – so, like, when there's, like, five minutes until, like, the period, the first period starts, like, they'll, they'll ring the bell letting you know that there's five minutes before. But, I mean, even still, it's, like, a great concept. So, you know, I don't know. I, I, I might consider doing that even. even yeah. Still. Yeah, also, I, maybe when you, like, walk into your Wi-Fi zone, maybe it could tap you. Yeah, um, yeah actually, that's a network. great one. I, yeah. you know, because yeah. I used to have on my 5S, I used to have this thing where uh, I get it to play a ringtone when I connect it to Wi-Fi and disconnect it from Wi-Fi. Right. Um, yeah. The mm -hmm. problem is that even if my phone was on silent, it would still play that ringtone. So, like, I sometimes my phone would go off in school, so I had to turn it off. Um, yeah, the watch, that could be a huge thing. Now, can you get it to display messages on the watch at, at certain events as well? Like, uh, for um, example... I don't think that's included here, but... Um... No. I mean, I, I'm as far as I know, every notification that shows up on the iPhone could be forwarded to the watch. So I'm assuming that that's easily, you know, doable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think our friend could uh, could work that. I think Ryan could. Uh, Ryan could get Petrus, that to yeah. be a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I could just actually, uh, we had him on. We had him yeah. on a, a while ago, a few months ago. So Ryan, if you're listening, we definitely want what Justin said, which I forget what it was, but yeah, definitely. Notifications. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's what it was. On, on the watch, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so, again, that's one of the major features, watch tap action. So uh, the next feature is the watch connectivity. And this is, um, again, this is yet another watch feature. It looks like he's trying to, you know, in, in, integrate the uh, watch into Activator, which is really cool. So basically, you could set Activator to do something when you connect or disconnect from your Apple Watch through Bluetooth. So basically, maybe you could have it so, I don't know, um... Let's just say, for whatever reason, maybe when you connect to your Apple Watch, the Wi-Fi turns on or turns off or something like that. Maybe uh, a certain application will always open as soon as you connect to your Apple Watch for whatever reason. So, again, Actually, it's just there's endless possibilities. I there. have a really good one. Um, so, personally, I know that I like to uh, take my watch. Obviously, I take my watch off when I go to sleep. Yeah. So what about if your watch disconnects from your phone, your phone goes to airplane mode? Because I know, like, for me, oh, or, like, perfect. to do not disturb, that kind of thing. Because, like, I know for yeah. me personally, like, uh, I use yeah. do not disturb at night because I don't want to be woken up. Because, like, having friends in a lot of different time zones and stuff, like, it can be a little challenging with uh, with everything. So I can see right. that. But, like, yeah. there's, I, there's definitely a use case for it, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's endless possibilities. I could easily yeah. see something. Yeah. See, could this is why Activator Activator alone, in my opinion, is worth jailbreaking for. Like, not even all the other additional benefits that you get, just Activator alone, in my opinion, makes a jailbreak completely worth it. Absolutely. Yeah, I completely agree. So, um, the next option is, is something he's building on something that he added before. So, basically, a few months ago... Uh, Ryan added some 3D touch actions to Activator, but it was fairly limited at the time. So the only 3D actions that it came with a few months ago were the screen bottom center, screen bottom left, screen bottom right, and the status bar. He's added some new uh, areas to 3D touch to, you know, activate certain gestures. So now you can 3D touch on the left side of the screen and the right side of the screen to, you know, evoke a certain gesture. So honestly, um, it's just, it's a, you know, it's something else. You know, another area that you could you know use for activator with 3d touch so um i mean there's not really that much that i could say because it's the same you know you could obviously do the same things with it but it just kind of expands your you know your um access i guess yeah and... yeah exactly that's a good way to put it i think definitely and with that being said i think that wraps up um the show um so do you guys have anything else you want to talk about um yeah, I mean, look, I am really hoping a jailbreak comes out. Um, I know I've probably <laughs> said that, speak, yeah. like, yes. a lot of times in this episode. But, yeah, I'm really hoping a jailbreak comes out. Um, I know. And, I mean, I'm really excited about the Activator update. I mean, I did I did get a chance to play with it before I, uh, before I lost my jailbreak. It was in beta. So I did get a chance to play with that. So that was nice. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's nice that it's public for everyone now. And fairly good list of tweaks this week just a good yeah, all-around week i think yeah, for so. for jailbreak stuff it's been a good all-around week definitely, oh yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. all okay, right guys yeah so you want to take us out justin 
Yeah, well, uh, with that, I think that wraps up the show. Once again, my name is Justin Wack. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we will see you guys next week. Later, guys. See you guys. All right, well, I think that was a successful episode. Kind of. Why do I detect <laughs> sarcasm? successful um, episode. Because we had the break like I twice. can't imagine why I detect we sarcasm right now. We messed up a lot while recording this episode. Here are some bloopers. And as always, Come on, guys. Oh Welcome to Jailbreak Weekly, episode number 27. He told me I had to do the signature thing. Uh, I always have to do it. I, I, I I'm trying to think of how I'm going to interrupt you. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty easy. You gotta use uh, the cow mooing, the Andy, hot corn, you're, you're, you're the John, Cena. No, that song, <laughs> that song hurts me right now. Okay, that song hurts. It hurts, you. It hurts it to hurt listen you? to. All right. On a serious note, I think we can get started. On a serious <laughs> note, the mixtape has got a little. Okay, no, Andy, are you? Started. Okay. I'm ready when you guys. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I am. For this <laughs> Sunday night. <laughs> I hate all of you. When WWE superstar John Cena dies. defends his title in the WWE Superstar. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah. Uh, nope, it's not. Ah! It's not echoing. It's anymore. very faint, though. It's yeah, it's really faint. Well, the thing is, this is kind of, this is actually kind of segues into something we're gonna talk no, about. No, you're not seven. supposed to point that out. I was trying to make it really smooth. <laughs> Ow, I was trying to He's transition. He's the Segway King. You're not you were gonna. To... How are you gonna correct yourself, though? I no, was you, you know, no, but like you couldn't just. just no, like you were saying, like, oh, this segues into the music. No, 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 don't do this. <laughs> okay, well, you just, uh, made, a good actor. You just made a good completely actor. good segue into a blooper. Good job. Segue okay. into a segue. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, segue. By the way, I think we should make the title for this episode. Um, I did a drop test, and I did an or an, the unintentional, unintentional, the unintentional, <laughs> the unintentional <laughs> drop test. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. 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 Actually, here I'll send that in the group chat. Right now. Yeah. So I mean, I guess I'll just just go into uh, one and for that. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, Andy, I'm really surprised you didn't make that mistake. You're really yeah. the one saying wrong. Yeah, I know. I always to say, like, I was 6. Just like, oh, I was 5.1. Evasion 7. Evasion? Yeah, cool. I was 3.0. Point point Am I supposed to say something? I yes! Know. Well, I mean, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for John for John for John. <laughs> Randomly come on the microphone and go, You can't see me, but Tom is down. <laughs> we should have John sit here as a guest for episode 30. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Welcome to Joe Wake Weekly, episode 30. And today we have a special guest star on the podcast, and his name is John Cena! <laughs> Another blooper. Thank you <laughs> so like much. Well, um, one thing that has definitely not lagged this week is... John! 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 Um, you know, this way, if somebody said something and I have to quit the... Co- I have to scroll all the way up, Wait. it just loads all the way, and I don't have to, you know, worry about reading... You know, uh, yeah, you seconds. cut out for a second. David, you T-Pain, bro. So, where do you start? Just pretty much start over. Because, <laughs> like, it's T-Pain close to the start, right? I think. Right yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, um, I don't know where I... Just, like, oh, just yeah, start okay. off talking about it, yeah. You know, not only can you get <laughs> Justin's having a freak out, but we don't no, know why. I just thought of a really funny, funny idea. Um, I'll tell you guys about it after the show. Okay, alright. Show right quickly after dark. 
Okay, anyway. Yeah, I mean. Oh my god, Justin. What the f? <laughs> <laughs> Andy <laughs> sent, he sent me to a f site. I'm not no, kidding. It's, <laughs> no, it's a f site. It's like, no, yeah, it's um, not. That's totally no, a f site. It's, it's absolutely not. No, it's yeah. not.